All right, hey everybody, welcome back to the eBay shop. My name's Corey. I'm Teresa. And this is Grams and Pops Vintage. We've got a bunch of orders to pull from over the weekend, so we're just gonna jump right into it today, and we've got a small topic or two to talk about kind of in amongst them, so let's just go ahead and get to pulling orders and see what's sold. First of all, we sold a Pioneer Woman salad plate. I had to think about what it was without looking. <laughs> it's a aqua blue one. You can't really see it, but it's in there. Let's see. I could I could pull that one out of there. It's one of them there. Yep. Pretty plate. Somebody have, must have broke one. We have a whole set of them. And Plates. what did that sell for? That sold for $5.49. And they paid triple the amount of shipping just to get that plate. What did we have in these? They were part of our storage unit. Oh, so we really don't have much of anything no. in them. So good by us. All right, what do we got next here? We sold our Obi-Wan Kenobi Shit. talking bank. Obi-Wan is up here. He's kind of cool, so I put him up on my shelf here. And now I gotta get him down. So bear with me one second. Don't drop it. Don't ruin the box any more than it already is. All right. So I don't know if you can see it, but that's Obi. Now check this thing out. <laughs> As he flops around in the box. Jesus, how long is it? <laughs> he goes forever. But on the side, if you look on the side. Oh, now he's going again. No, if you look on the side, he'll actually fight with other Jedis. Yep. Chip, chip, chip. Okay, he's still shut in up. There. Whoop an ass. Go over. Go put him away. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna send him back here. I don't know what he's doing back there. <laughs> he's just. He's having I hope fun. He doesn't fall. Self entertainment. <laughs> I didn't get to train with him, so I'm no Jedi. But how much did he sell for? He sold for twenty eight dollars and ninety five cents, and we got to pack him good. We paid like five bucks for him, didn't we? Was it three? It? Three. I think it was three. Okay. He's going to Canada. Aren't the big mailing boxes like the number seven? I don't know. He's still, he's, still, <laughs> he's still going. I think he could fit in two number seven boxes and we'll just pack around him really good. Like put them on top of each other. Yep. So Sure, whatever the large yeah. priority boxes are. And you said what he sold for. $28.95 going international. Bye, Obi. All right, what do we got next? We sold a cheer bear, eight inch care bear. That's that one there. So there's cheer bear. Cheer Bear. Cheer Bear. So what'd that one sell for? He sold for $9.99. That's just a little one too. Full asking price. All right. Uh, next, I don't know if you want to take your camera with you, but we sold one of our pig egg, pig egg, pig. Pig eggs? No, shush. Like bacon and eggs? No, it's a pig candle warmer from the storage bin. No, I won't take the camera. I'll be right back. So kind of like a little scentsy candle wax warmer, but it's not scentsy, right? It's not scentsy. A cute little pig with wings and flowers on him. So what did that one sell for? He sold for $30. Really? Yeah, 30 bucks. Yay. Remember you took an offer and I yelled at you for it. And that was out of our storage unit as well. So we really don't have, we're in the profit on that unit. So anything going forward is just profit. Yep. So. Let's talk about something. Let's talk about dumpster diving. There's really no good transition into this topic, but one of the things we want to talk about today was dumpster diving. And the reason we want to talk about it is because it's citywide cleanup where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so you drive through town and there's piles of stuff on every curb. Like, That's a nice way to put it. Stuff. Yeah, stuff. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Be Junk. <laughs> everywhere in town, there's just piles of stuff on the curb. Some of it's garbage. Some of it's stuff from garage sales they didn't sell, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. It's just citywide cleanup. And the city comes around, picks it up for free, and throws it in the dump. That being said, we have drove through town a couple of times, and it, we find ourselves slowing down to look in the piles. Like, it's really tempting to stop sometimes and, and look and see what's there. And there's just kind of a stigma to it, I think, that keeps us from doing it. And and we saw that kind of, kind of in full force on Facebook this morning. Because we we haven't stopped to dig through any of them, but this morning looking on Facebook, mm -hmm. Graham saw uh, in the town we live in has like a rants and rave page, which I don't know, that's the most ridiculous thing to have. But it's just a place where people go complain. No, because it's not always complaints. There are a lot of 
rants. Oh, 90. sorry. There are a lot of raves. Ninety <laughs> percent of it is just people bitching. It's but, just Facebook. That's what Facebook is. But one of the things we saw in there this morning was a post about the stuff on the curb, which you read it. What was yep. It? So it was somebody saying rave for the city coming through and doing cleanup, you know, for free for these people. The rant was people going through after dark or in the middle of the night. This one specifically happened at midnight. They went through and went through all their stuff and made a huge mess of it. They took the totes, the boxes, but left all the stuff and just dumped it out. They put a bunch of stuff on the curb in boxes and totes and somebody came along and dumped them so they could have the totes and boxes. And took probably took some of the stuff out of it too, but they still made a mess of it. I can see why it's got a bit of a stigma. That's not really dumpster diving though. Dumpster diving, you're not doing that you're actually going into a dumpster and taking things out if you decide to go through somebody's garbage or you dumpster dive or you street surf is that what that's that what we're going to call it street surfing we can name it whatever we want street garbage surfing don't make a mess i mean people put it out there to get rid of it but the garbage guys that come through and pick it up they don't want to clean up your mess they don't want to be walking 15 feet away to pick up the junk that was in a pile, but you made a mess of it. I don't know. What are you guys' ideas or thoughts on dumpster diving? Have you ever done it? Um, any tips? I think taking free stuff out of a dumpster would be amazing. But, like, what are your thoughts on dumpster diving? It's intriguing. Um, getting stuff for free out of a, especially like retail stores, GameStop, things like that we've heard about. You know, where do you stand on that? Have you tried it? Do you have any tips? Around here, we don't have a lot of big retail stores. I know one of them I've heard is don't do it in a dumpster that's in a store that's near a restaurant because a lot of times you'll have a lot of food to deal with, which isn't something you want. That's gross. Or raccoons uh, like Cincinnati Picker has. Let us know in the comments where you stand on that, and we're going to get back to pulling orders so we can get stuff packed up. So what's next? We sold another Ertl tractor. We sold one of the little ones with dual wheels. All right, it's that guy there. I feel like we've sold... A dozen of these little green ones like We've this. We've sold, this is the second second or third one of those. I had two or three of some of them. And how much did he go for? He went for $9.95. Perfect. I like Ertl tractors. All right, what do we got next? A belt buckle. We sold our Pepsi Duo belt buckle. That guy there. All right, so this buckle, the box says, you make the difference, 1986 sales rally for Pepsi. They're really and cool. And it's actually two buckles. Looks like a minute of women's. Yep. And they're pretty cool. And I was shocked at how little that sold for. I think that should have sold for quite a bit more. But this was in a load of, or a, a haul. What do you call it? We bought a bulk buy of buckles. We bought a whole bunch from one guy. Um, this Weird. was in there. We didn't have a lot in it. Yeah, we did. Pretty sure he was our $10 one. Uh -huh. You paid for it because you thought it was cool. So how much did that one sell for? He sold for $15. We didn't sell it for enough because we paid too much for it. But we're going to do pretty well on... The rest of the buckles we bought. Yeah, we dabble. We're dabbling in belt buckles. They're kind of cool. What's next? We sold a Schleich horse. That little guy. That's just a little one. He is a black Frisian filly horse, and he's cute. He sold for what? Seven dollars and ninety-nine cents for that little baby thing. All right. So what do we got next? We sold a three-pack of buck knives in a sheath. That's that one there. All right. So that's the sheath right there. And there's three different knives in there. I won't pull them all out. But Are those throwing knives? No. They, they look They're like not. throwing knives. Well, I guess I will pull them all out. Not a throwing knife. What is, that one looks like just a cut, like a rope cutter. I will give Pops credit on this. He made a good sale. Uh, not a good sale. He made a good buy. So these, we got 10, 10 knives. Um, there was SOG brand, buck knives. There was a couple of buck knives. There was a K-Bar. And there was a couple of, or one Gerber knife. I, I believe yep, one I Gerber I think there was knife. one Gerber. For all 10 knives, we paid 50, 50 bucks. bucks. And I know we have one listed for like 100 and something. Four, 140? Hundred, yeah, something like that. And these ones sold for how much? 65 bucks. And that sold within an hour of listing that. Yep. I mean, it was on and back off. So I probably listed too low. There wasn't another one like it. Well, there was. There was one more like it, but it, they were black, not silver. It These ones a, disappeared really fast. And we made our money back on the whole sale already. It was a good, a good buy, Pops. The guy at first when we went to the garage sale, 
and we were looking at him. He's like, well, he had, what was it, like 10 to 12 bucks on each one? Ten, um, the lowest price one was 10 and the highest price one was 18. So I think it was like 70 or $90 worth or something. No, for 10 knives and the lowest price was 10. It was over a hundred. Oh, it was okay. like 150 so bucks. The guy's like, well, I'll take like 65 or 50. <laughs> we <opted laughs> okay, we'll take 50. the 50. Yeah, we opted for 50. That was a good one. So yeah, that's, knives is something new we're getting into. Yep. We haven't played with them. I think watching Dave, NC Picker, he's bought knives before and he kind of started getting into them a little bit, which made me start kind of looking at the ones we do see. And we've picked up some garbage ones, but we've picked up now some pretty good ones too. So that is a category, if you haven't looked at it, you can explore a little bit, which we're actually doing with another category right now too, which I probably shouldn't, but baseball bats we see people picking them up all the time i started grabbing them we're not paying any more than three to five bucks a bat on them some of them are a buck some of them are a buck uh, here i can show you we bought a bunch of them you can see there we bought a bunch of different ones now i will say i've looked a couple of those up and there are a few four and five dollar bats in there education fee yep some of those might just be home defense bats. <laughs> I mean, they may go oh, in the garbage or get saved for grandkids to beat on each other with. We don't know. But I did look. There is one in there that I know is a $75 bat, and it's composite, or it's, like, not the aluminum. It's, like, carbon fiber or composite or something. I don't know. It's not aluminum. So that one actually sells for more. And we're just now kind of getting in and trying to learn them. We see them all the time. Figure we might as well learn something about them. Oh, and on baseball bats, we also picked up a baseball glove that comped out pretty well too. I don't, I don't look at that stuff. It wasn't a huge, like it's, it's probably 40, 50 bucks for the baseball glove, but it's the same baseball glove we already have in the drawer that comped out for like 15, but the left-handed version. It's a lefty. Yep, well you wear it on your right hand so you throw it to your left. So it's well, a that's dumb. left hand, it's a glove for a left-handed ball player. So if you see left-handed stuff out there, pay attention to that because that seems to add to the price pretty okay, quick. I must be dumb because when I think of left-handed glove, I think of I'm putting it on my left hand. Yeah, but if you're right-handed, well, what, what hand do you wear your baseball glove on? I don't know. Oh, if this you're one. Right there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm an idiot. I haven't played ball since I was like a freshman in high school. No, I mean, I haven't played ball since... Ever. I've never played ball really, but I do know on baseball gloves, there's right hand throw and left hand throw. And that means left hand throw means you throw with your left hand where the glove on your right. So can I ask a dumb question? Sure. So does that mean they have right handed and left handed glove or bats or are all bats the same? <laughs> I would think they're the same. I don't know. They have right handed and left handed balls. balls? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. This could go down a dark hole. <laughs> bats and balls. Okay. okay. Moving on. <laughs> we old? sold my big the biggest john deere tractor that i've had from Ertl. it is like a four it has like eight wheels there's that big guy there all right so that is a big old john deere what he sell for he sold for 21 dollars, and he is also going international and we're just finding these in toy bins for well, the most part we these, have a couple some of, of these aren't no some of them we found in our storage unit remember they were in that box yep but we have found some more in toy store toy bins which i grabbed them yeah, so keep, dig to the bottom of those toy bins because those are pretty heavy and they almost always go right down to the bottom with any other die cast and heavy toys. So if you're finding those Ertl toys at the bottom of those toy bins, scoop them up if you can get them cheap. I have another one that I got a list yet. It's not one of those, but it's a it's a tractor or a pickup and trailer set that's Ertl. Kind of excited about it. All right, what else you got? Last, I sold the pink. What is it? Oh, sorry. Last, I sold Secret Bear, the Care Bear. FYI, he's down on the bottom down there. Yeah, another one of them tiny ones here. That one's kind of cool. He's got the lock on him. Her, it. It's Secret Bear, so it's got to be a girl. So you got that one there. She's special edition. What did she sell for? $8.50. So teeny tiny little plush going out for almost $9 plus shipping. So Watch out for Care Bears. Yep, Care Bears. Not, Bolo. Not necessarily the new ones. Anything 2000... 12 and back probably mm, i don't know most of mine were 2004 2006 three yeah. two so wow 
Look at the Care Bears comp them out, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. That's it. All right, guys, so I think that's it. We're going to get these packed up so we can get these out to the post office, and we will see you guys next time. Hasta la vista, baby.